This is the Apple Watch Series 9, and while I originally thought this might be a significant upgrade from its predecessors after wearing it for five months, I don't know that I share the same feelings anymore. The Series 9 was announced with a host of new features, some of which have been useful, but for the most part, a lot of them have been fluff in my opinion, and today I want to get into what in here has value, what doesn't, and just what things look like from about a half a year of usage. So if you're considering upgrading from a previous Apple Watch, or you're looking to make the switch from something else, and immersing yourself in the Apple ecosystem a bit more, hopefully this can help you out. So with that said, let's get into it. Hey everyone, Ali here. The Apple Watch Series 9 was announced alongside all the new iPhones this year at the September Apple event. And this year had what seemed like a substantial amount of upgrades compared to the last couple of releases. There's an all-new S9 chip or SIP as Apple calls it that's much more powerful full a new neural engine which enables a whole bunch of stuff on the watch like new advanced Siri modes and the new double tap feature. There's display improvements, a new ultra-wide band chip amongst other things and to top that all off it runs on Watch Watch 9 which was completely redesigned this year. On paper that sounds pretty impressive and a big step forward compared to previous years where there's mostly been the same hardware. Just with a feature or two added like crash detection or body temperature sensors which in most cases were never enough to justify upgrading. That's why I stayed with the Series 6. Basically until my battery health was so bad that it forced me to upgrade and the Series 9 felt like it had a lot going for it, so I decided to pick one up, not only to replace that Series 6, but also to report back on the channel with how valuable this new stuff actually is. The watch strap, on the other hand, is starting to wear quite a bit where the Velcro attaches. I was concerned with this when I bought it because Velcro can tend to wear pretty easily if it's always being attached and detached, and because you've got to take this off pretty much every day. A big reason why I went with a 45mm version this year is I wanted a slightly bigger screen coming from a 40mm, but I didn't want to go all the way up to an Ultra because I do have smaller wrists and it just kind of looks ridiculous on me, so this is a happy medium. I definitely appreciate the extra 5mm of screen real estate. I know it doesn't sound like much, but it's really recognizable and it does give you some added benefits like having an actual keyboard for replying to messages which I use regularly and the display in particular is something that I probably noticed the most out of any new features on the Series 9. The screen on here goes all the way up to 2000 nit peak brightness, which is double that of the last three generations. I find it a lot more usable in bright areas, and I'm generally very happy with the vibrance and the sharpness, especially with all the new UI elements in watchOS 10. Now watchOS 10 is available for anything series 4 and later, so if you do have an older Apple Watch made within the last 5 years or so you're probably familiar with it if you keep your software up to date, even with a lot of what's offered there being available outside of the series 9, I still want to touch on my experience with it, especially for folks who might be looking to get into their first Apple Watch. New double tap feature is only available on the Series 9 and Ultra 2 watches where you can raise your arm up and pinch your fingers twice to do different things on your watch like scroll through your smart stack answer calls amongst other things, but I really don't find it all that useful. So guys, how was the video? Let me know in comment section below. I will be getting back into some other comparison videos and some new Apple stuff when it comes out. So stay tuned for that. If you enjoyed this video or you found it useful, feel free to hit that like button if you want to see more tech-rated content or host online meditation sessions with me, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next upload.